Hello my fellow gamers and welcome once again to my Sensitivity video tutorials. We will be continuing today with our building tutorials and if you haven't watched the previous building tutorials or the planning video tutorials before, I would advise you right now to pause this video, watch those and then come back because it's going to be much easier for you to understand what am I talking about, where I'm building what and why. First off, let's check the status of this city. Power. You have just enough. That means that we are most likely going to need more soon and we should upgrade. A small wind turbine right here. That should provide plenty of power to, for us to continue. Water, we are down to 3.1. I will keep an eye on this but I will not build anymore at the moment. Same with the switch. The trash has reached 400 cans a day but two trucks should be able to handle that much. Fires at the moment zero, that's excellent. Health tissues 16 plus 12, 28. Clinic is at 9 from 25. We should leave that like that. Crime. Now we have crime. Haven't had crime up until now, so this this is the point where I have to build me a police station. Now let's see exactly where the uh, the crime happened here and the two crooks live over here. That means that I should probably connect my police station to this road, which should allow it fast access over here. But since you know from previous videos, this part is disconnected from this one, while it's connected through here. So that means that my police station should actually go here. Now, from my previous videos, you also know that I cannot put any buildings on this road because it's going to be an avenue later on. So the same goes for this. So I'm going to place my police station on this road. I'll leave enough room on the side for that street to turn into an avenue. And we have our first police station. Now I am going to upgrade with another two police cars right now just to make sure that I have enough police coverage because uh, most of my city parts are disconnected and connected only by a single road which leads somewhere around or through here let's say and in order to cover all those places I need more cop cars and now we reach education this is a new school day and if you watch my previous videos you know that I keep my schools off between 3 p.m. and 3 a.m. In order to save money because no students are being taught at that time. Now uh, I'm just gonna wait for 3 a.m. to turn this on. Now that's been taken care of. Let's check out our roads. Now most of the roads I have used are dirt roads and some medium avenues. I am trying to have my city without any traffic lights which means that I'm connecting streets with medium avenues and I will try to avoid as many connections between avenues and avenues as I can because that will also make stoplights later on. That is why I have this runabout here which is going to be a street at the moment. It's a low density street which means it has only two lanes. For the moment that seems to be enough but we are going to keep watch and since this is the time for the rush hour I am going to keep a watchful eye on these streets and see which turn red. So as I can see already here is red because this coal mine takes a lot of workers so this is the first street that's gonna get upgraded to medium density. That should allow for more traffic to flow. Next we have any more red streets. I think I saw this one being something like yellow and orange but that seems to have passed very quickly that seems to be it for now I only have one delivery truck but no deliveries as of now they should be sent soon there's the truck our first call delivery is on its way now this city will start off with this coal mine just to be able to earn some extra money but later on I'm going to go to 
oil drilling and after that it's going to be fuel production so let's check our population uh, you can follow this chart as long as you do, uh, don't reach medium or high density after you reach medium and high density uh, these numbers simply will not show you the real status of your city so for now i will keep my eye out on this i seem to be missing low wealth medium wealth and high wealth jobs i have some extra medium and high wealth shops uh, actually goods but i am missing only a few low wealth now i really don't have to pay so much attention to how much shops do i have for uh, high wealth because i also have a lot of parks for high wealth which means they can get their happiness from parks and i don't have to create that many shops for them any sort of specialization for your city will require a lot of workers at the moment i'm already down uh, about 200 unfilled for medium and 100 for low 36 for high which means that i honestly need a lot more workers if i'm planning on expanding this coal mine or even starting this drilling industry now i can get more workers either by going to medium density which means that i am going to have fewer homes but more people in them or i can expand more at the moment as i turn on this happiness overview i can see that i have a lot of housing that's up to 35 30 happiness which means that if i give medium density streets to increase the density of these houses and probably the commercial with them now the choice is not so easy to make because once you start going to medium density you're going to have an explosion of population and you have to make sure that you have enough infrastructure to support them that means you have to have upgraded roads for more traffic you have to have enough room in your clinic in your school enough police cars to patrol more people and you have to make sure that you have enough power water and sewage capacity because medium density requires far more power sewage and water than low density so for the moment i could expand my residential and commercial up there but for i would like to uh, keep some of my map uh, unzoned so i can play with it later on and depending on what do i want to build or where do i want to build it i will have some room left so my decision is to go to medium density to do that i'm going to start by using this overlay and make sure that i know which buildings can go to medium density now as far as i can see most of these streets can be increased to medium density and they will all provide or most of them will provide medium density housing down here they might come to medium density but not anytime soon these guys are all red simply because there are no shops in their vicinity and they have to go much farther to get to a shop. I could provide them with an easy quick fix by placing a road here and placing some commercial right here. That should make them happy enough. Now, as I said, I am going to go to medium density, but I am going to go in steps. I am going to try and see which of these parts I'm going to upgrade first and then upgrade the next and the next and the next in a step by, by step way so that I can follow just how much more power, water or switch capacity I'm going to need. I'm going to pause the game for now and start upgrading these roads. I'm going to upgrade one of these guys to medium density one of these guys now this is a point at which you have to think about which sides of the street do you wish to have your people uh, living on because this is very important f because of several factors once you uh, go to medium density their, uh, their housing is going to have only one exit and one entrance on one side of these double streets which means that once you choose which street that's going to be you have to unzone the other side now for these guys up here my choice is obvious because this is going to be an avenue through which most of the traffic is going to flow so i do not wish them to go up there that is why i never zoned anything up there which means that all of these people are going to have their exits from their housing onto this street now th that means that i should try and not have more exit 
onto that street from the other side which should reduce the traffic onto that street that means that once I have increased this street to medium medium density I need to unzone the other side of that street now that means that if these people want to become medium density they have to go onto this street down here which means that I have to upgrade that street now that also means that the guys that live on that street on the other side of the street in the next block have to be unzoned so that they will not increase in density onto that street this way you can control which side of the street your sims are gonna go and you can control just how many sims are going to be exiting onto the same street that also means that you're going to later on be more easily able to control just how much traffic are going is going to go onto these main ways of transportation in and out of these neighborhoods now another consideration you have to make when you are going from low density to high density is exactly where your shops are and how they are going to develop if i go and look over here i do have some shops that are widely spaced and have enough room to grow to medium density but i also have to keep in mind that once they reach high density they are going to take exactly this much space but the building itself is going to be huge so if i am leaving uh, each of these spaces to provide me with one of those high density buildings i am going to have a huge need for workers that means that even if i have two buildings here that are going to be high density low wealth all of those workers are going to go into that building so you really have to keep track of what you're going to build right now but you also have to keep track of what is going to become of those buildings later on this is also the moment at which you're probably going to be bulldozing a lot of buildings and looking for how they are going to develop because as you are going to witness right now if these guys start going up to medium density right now hopefully it would seem that these guys are not yet ready to go up so i'm going to have to go down and increase the density of some other streets I'm also going to keep unzoning so that I can choose which side of the street they are going to increase in density at. As I uh, was mentioning previously, this is now going to become a medium, as is this one, a medium density commercial building which means if I have an additional over here it's going to take a lot of space and also create a lot of goods and a lot of jobs now I may not want to have that many which means that I'm probably going to unzone this commercial over here so that I can control more easily just how many of these are going to be created since it's 3 p.m. I'm going to be shutting down the school they will most likely be going on foot now back home because the school buses are going to go back into their garages when the school is off but you don't really have to care about that they have the entire day ahead of them to get back home finally our first tenement these guys also seem like they're ready to be expanded but before I can expand them, I need to disconnect these streets so that part of these people will have to go onto this street to exit their neighborhood, while the rest will use this one. That way I'm going to re reduce congestion on these roads. Now I have to be careful, I want to disconnect them somewhere about the half of this commercial so that these guys have some commercial and these guys will have some commercial so let's see about here 
Now, I am not afraid that I have just destroyed all of the commercial buildings simply because they are about to go to medium density and that means they are going to be able to build much la larger buildings that are going to take only a little bit more space. Now I have to check just how many of these I'm going to leave as commercial and how many I'm going to put for residential. Now I have just zoned both parts of this, these streets, but I also have to choose uh, on which street are these middle ones going to develop. Now you could argue both sides are the same, but that depends on where do they go for jobs, because if they go to jobs down here, that means that if you unzone this side and then let them have their exit on the left they're going to go over here and you're going to reduce the traffic but if they are going to go there for their jobs and if you unzone this part and let them have their exits on this side then they are going to use up more of this road and have you're going to have uh, larger columns of traffic so for mm, the thing is you can't really decide for them where they're going to go to work so your predicament is non-existent actually so you can just pick any side you want and then later on if you see that you have a problem you can simply again unzone this destroy these buildings and zone on the left it will take them a while to get back to medium density but it is just some thing that you have to do in order to be able to exert more control over where your traffic is going to go